OK, so let's try that again. So in this case, what they're trying to ask us to do is to find x. Now remember, this is a trapezoid, they tell us. And they also say we have a mid-segment, which is the length of 15. All right. Now, in this case, we know that these two are pair as well as our mid-segments. But we need to go, what is our mid-segment format? How do the bases and the mid-segment relate to each other when it's a trapezoid? So that formula is the sum of your bases times 1 half is equal to the length of your mid-segment. So it doesn't really matter what your bases, is, bases are, but I'll call that base 1 and that base 2. All right. So if we look, do we know the length of our mid-segment? 15 equals 1 half. Base 1, I'll call 2x plus 5 plus 5x minus 3. Right? OK? Yes? Does that make sense? You're adding your bases. We don't have numbers for the bases. We have expressions. But that's OK. So now I can combine like terms. So I say 15 equals 1 half. 2x plus 5x is 7x uh, plus 2. Now, to solve for this, you could distribute the 1 half if you like to. I don't like distributing the 1 half. I like to multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. So I'll multiply by 2 over 1. Oh, so I'll multiply by 2 over 1. It's called the no look pass, Devin. Huh? Yeah. So um, thank you, Jake, for your comment, but I don't think it's needed, but I appreciate it. So we can multiply by our reciprocal. Obviously, any number multiplied by a reciprocal is going to be to 1. So that's just going to leave us with 7x plus 2. 2 over 1 times 15 is going to be 30 or 30. So now I have 7x plus 2. All right. Divide, subtract 2. 28 equals 7x. Divide by 7, divide by 7, x equals 4. Done, son. Is that done the problem?